Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the pistons into the into the outboard motor. So the first step when installing pistons is to check the, the piston ring end gap. So install the rings into the into the cylinder and push it down slightly with the piston to make sure that it's level. You don't want the piston ring on, on an angle when checking the end gap because you'll get an incorrect reading. So by using the piston it makes sure that it's even. So you want to push it about three quarters of an inch down the bore. Now when I measure ring end gap, I start with a thick feeler gauge and that doesn't fit and I go smaller and smaller with the, or thinner and thinner with the feeler gauge until it just um, comfortably fits in and then I check the reading and then compare that with the specifications and it must be within, within specs. Okay, if it's too tight then you need to file the ring end, the, the, ring, the piston rings to get the correct end gap. If it's too big then um, you need to measure the cylinder bore. Okay, so in, uh, installing it, start with the open end out and push the ring in and that will close it. And then use the piston gently and, and slide it down. You should measure the bore anyway on a rebuild. So um, if you've already measured the bore and the rings, the ringing gap is too big, then you might have the incorrect rings for, for the motor or a faulty ring and it does happen. So when removing the rings, squeeze them the ends together so that it takes the pressure off the bore. I'll exaggerate it here so that you don't mark the cylinder bore when pulling the ring out. Okay, so installing the ring onto the piston, you want to warm it up in your hands if it's um, if where where I am at the moment it's winter time and the rings are really cold, so cold metal is normally brittle, so put it in your hands to warm them up to take the um, to put some temperature into it. Okay, when installing it onto a piston you want to have the open end of the ring lined up with the retaining pin on the piston. I've got a ring installer which spreads the rings. Now you want to support it at the back and only spread it wide enough to install it over the piston. Don't open it right up. And then make sure that it's nice and free in the groove. If it's sticking um, or binding you might have the ring upside down or the piston ring, sorry, the piston groove might be um, might have some damage, so make sure that it's nice and free. If it's not, inspect it and find out why. Okay, so once more, line it up with the pin in the piston, support it at the back, and just spread it wide enough so that it slides over the piston. Make sure that it's free. Okay, so installing it, you want to lubricate it with two strike outboard oil. Lubricate the wrist pin or the little end. Move the rod back and forward to work the oil through the bearing. So move it back and forward and turn the piston. Now never ever hit the piston against the rod. You'll notice that I just put my finger against the rod to make sure that it wouldn't happen. So um, you don't want to be hitting the soft aluminium piston against the hard rod. Okay, so lubricate the piston rings and the piston walls themselves with oil. Two strokes love oil so um, don't be scared to put a bit of like a decent amount of oil on the piston. Four strokes are much different but with two strokes um, they can use plenty of oil on assembly. Because the oil comes in with the petrol on a two stroke engine you want to make sure that there's plenty of oil for that initial startup. So installing the piston make sure that the rod is in the centre of the piston. Some motors um, where the rod goes through, if, it, if the rod isn't in the middle they will jam up. Okay, So reach through from underneath and guide the con rod through and never push a piston in. Okay, Always just line it up and, and let the piston fall in under its own weight. Now, I'm not actually pushing down on the piston here, I'm just lining it up so that it just slides in with its own weight and then just let it lift it up and let it slide down, make sure that it's nice and free. Okay, so compressing the rings, I have a, a ring compressor. This comes with some pliers to, to squeeze together with a ratchet on it, but I actually find it much easier just to do it by hand. So make sure it's clean, you don't want to put dirt into your, into your pistons. Okay, so before you install it, make sure that your rings are in the centre of the pins so that they can easily close close in on it. 
Okay, so put it over the piston and just gently squeeze on the ring compressor and wobble it back and forward as you pull down on the conrod. And it's very simple, it just slides slides straight in. Okay, so again, check the rings are in the right position. Expand the ring compressor over the piston. Squeeze it gently and rock it back and forward as you pull down on the rod. And it slides in. Easy as that. Well, good luck. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.